All right, I'm in front of my, uh, my Commodore 64 replica called the C64. And uh, one of the cool features, well, one of the many that it does, it can replicate the VIC-20 as well as the Commodore 64. So let's say you had some software you wanted to run that was a VIC-20 cartridge or a VIC-20 diskette or tape. You could run those. Now I've got one right here, River Rescue, and I want to pull that up. And uh, let's see, we'll launch that. Takes a minute to come up. And here it is. Now this is based on a cartridge. And you'll notice the, uh, the text on this thing is huge because uh, the resolution on the VIC-20 was much less uh, than the 64. So games tend to be a little bit more blocky and uh, sounds not as good. But still, uh, if, if there's something you want to play, you, you have the option to do that. But there's something you have to do to these to make them actually work. And I wanted to show that on this video. Okay, what you're looking at here is uh, two files. I've actually got the uh, USB stick on my Mac. And it's actually the same game. River Rescue is, is uh, on both file there. The icon looks different because of... Uh, the change I made here. Now, if you look at the one on the left, it says A0 for the extension. You have to change that to .crt for cartridge. Otherwise, the VIC won't know what to do with it. Also, to get it to go into VIC mode, instead of Commodore 64 mode, when it comes up and reads the file, you have to put this little bit at the end of it. And it has to be uppercase, and it has to have an underscore between the file name and this part. Now the cool thing is once you pull it up on the uh, 64, the, the tags doesn't, it, it doesn't show at all. So you'll just be left with River Rescue. So the uh, machine name or machine type is Vic, and this is uh, for PAL, it's a PAL version. So uh, that's what that extension is. If you look in the manual, you can see all the little switches that you can put in these tags, but this one will force it to come up in Vic 20 mode and the extension will come in uh, have it read as a cartridge. So you need to do those two things in order to get your uh, files that you get off the internet or, or ones that you've scanned yourself to actually work in VIC mode.